As you've probably already become aware, topic six is all linked around the uses of ICT. Now, topic six part H or the eighth part of this topic is all linked to the Internet of Things or the IOT as it's sometimes referred to. On the assignment page that you should have already been set by your teacher, if not, send them a chat message and ask them to do that for you. Um, firstly, we have the second here, the relevant section from the scheme of work. So this is everything that you need to know in relation to the Internet of Things. You need to be aware of interconnectivity, um, of people and their smart devices and how they're used in the home, the workplace and in the wider area of cities. You need to know about um, the control of environmental conditions such as crops, transportation, the control of building access and security using um, smart devices and so on, the monitoring of utilities, things such as smart metering to keep a track of your um, electricity bills to allow you to be able to activate your heating um, from your workplace so your home is already warm by the time you get there. Um, you need to know about the monitoring and management of smart devices, so smart fridges, smart heating, smart cooling. You need to know about healthcare, so um, smart watches, devices that we can use to monitor and measure our fitness rates and levels and the advantages and disadvantages of using interconnected smart devices. So the first task is to use this PowerPoint that's been uploaded to do some research on the Internet of Things. Now, this PowerPoint itself is actually uploaded onto the page as a handout. So if you want to, you can work directly onto the page. If not, you can download this PDF there and then work on a Word document to complete your answers and then re-upload it or submit it at the end. It's entirely up to you. But the first thing that you'll see in the presentation is the section from the scheme of work that we've just um, looked at. So the next thing you need to do is use the links and then have a look at the different areas of the Internet of Things, research those areas and add some notes either to this page or to your Word document if that's how you choose to complete the task. So if you keep working through the slides, Every so often, you'll find a link to another page or another website that contains information about a specific area linked to the Internet of Things. So this one is linked to agriculture and so on. So if you continue to work through those using the links down to the Internet of Things in security, once you've made your notes for the Internet of Things in security, then you can come back to this video and I'll explain the next task. But now you need to pause and complete the first part of the task. Okay, so if you've got to this point and you've finished making your notes on the Internet of Things in security, it's likely you've already taken about an hour to get to this point anyway. The Internet of Things is such a vast and interesting topic that to do the topic fully and properly is probably going to take us around three lessons and possibly even some self-study or some homework time as well. If you haven't taken an hour to get to this point, then you likely need to question whether you've been thorough enough in your research. So we're going to leave it there for this lesson. Can you make sure, please, that um, if you're not working directly onto this page, which will save automatically, so you don't need to worry, that you save the Word document that you've been working on in your Unit 1 or your IT1 folder, whatever you've called it, and then in a Topic 6 folder, Uses of ICT, and in there, if you want to, you can make a subfolder for Topic 6H, IoT, or Internet of Things, and then next lesson, we can come back to that document and just continue to add to it.